So I'm a rainforest ecologist by training and what that means is I'm someone who studies the distribution of species in the world and how they relate to each other and how they relate to the environment. That's how I started off my career and I was really interested in land use change, like what humans did to the landscape to affect where species live. About 15 years ago we noticed that in intact areas of the Amazon things were changing more rapidly than we expected because these were rainforests, trees that were dying and, and trees that were growing in a different way than what they should have been or what they had in the past. And so we realised that climate change was influencing some of the most intact areas in the whole world. And a part of that was being driven by El Nino droughts. And so what we're doing here in the Daintree and why JCU is such a great university for me to be in is I get to work up in the Daintree and we have this experiment where we're creating a drought in this wet rainforest. And what we've done is we've set up these little plastic panels which are capturing rain underneath the, the canopy of the trees. We've got like these little tents and gutters and so we're capturing the rain and we're taking it away. And then we're studying how the trees are responding. So we've got these little probes that measure how much water they use every 15 minutes, measuring the health of the trees. So this experiment's just starting its third year and we found that, um, so not, not to be surprised, that they are using less water, that they have tended to have dropped some leaves so they don't need as much water to keep all those leaves working. But some of them are really sick and we can actually see how they're getting sick. So we can see a lot of it's insect attack. So we can see that the insects are attacking, a lot of the leaves are getting eaten more. And so their, their capacity to defend themselves is diminished. We're seeing sort of fungal attacks and there's lots of funguses in the rainforest as you can imagine. So this is really new to science. While we all know that rainforest trees need water, we don't know what happens when they don't get enough. And so by studying really, by having this experiment where we can study each little process, we're able to get a broader understanding about what will happen to our forests and what trees we think are gonna be the really tough ones, the survivors, and which ones we think are gonna be most vulnerable. It's always really exciting to be working in the frontier. So working, and that's not the physical remoteness, which is also really nice, but to be working where no one else has worked before and to be making those original discoveries and feeling like you've got something to offer to society, like you're saying, well, here's what I've found and here's what I think is really important. So climate change is not just about whether a tree lives or dies, it's about the ones that get sick and what will that mean for us in terms of agriculture? you know, in terms of the crops we're trying to grow and what will that mean for our future, as well as all the people who live in the tropical world. When your job is your passion, it doesn't feel like going to work each day. It just feels like you get to do what you love. And that's where I think I'm really lucky. From a professional point of view, how do you get there? You have to you know, go to uni, study science, look at what subjects are most, what are available, which are most likely to fit into your passion, and realise it's a bit of a long road, and sometimes a windy road, but it's incredibly satisfying.